These are, these are, these are short term steps, steps we have to take right now to start getting our economy back on track. But we also need a whole new set of priorities to grow our economy and trade jobs over the long term. And it starts with tax relief. There's been a lot of talk about taxes in this campaign. And the truth is, my opponent and I are both proposing tax cuts. The difference is who we want to give them to. John McCain wants to give an average of a $700,000, let me repeat that, $700,000 tax cut to the average Fortune 500 CEO. They don't need it. They're not even asking for it. I want to put a middle class tax cut in the pockets of 95% of workers and their families. My opponent doesn't want you to know this, but under my plan, tax rates will actually be less than they were under Ronald Reagan. And, and, now it's true that I want to go back to push tax cuts on the very wealthiest Americans. I want to go back to the rate that they paid under Bill Clinton. And by the way, they were doing fine under Bill Clinton. In fact, they were doing better under Bill Clinton because everybody was doing well. And those who own businesses, their customers, could actually afford to, to get their products and hire their services. Now, John McCain calls that socialism. What he forgets is that just a few years ago, he himself said that those Bush tax cuts were irresponsible. He said he couldn't, in good conscience, support a tax cut where the benefits went to the wealthiest Americans at the expense of middle class Americans who needed tax relief the most. Well, John McCain was right then, and I'm right now. So let me be crystal clear. How many of you make less than a quarter million dollars a year? Raise your hand. That's more people than early voting. Now, if you make less than a quarter million dollars a year, which includes 98% of small business owners and 99 0.9% of plumbers. Then, then you won't see your taxes increase one single day. Not your payroll tax, not your income tax, not your capital gains tax, no tax. That's my commitment to you. For the last eight years, we've tried it John McCain's way. We've tried it George Bush's way. We've given more and more to those with the most. And it hasn't worked. It has not worked. So don't you think it's time that we try something new? Is it time to try to grow this economy by investing in the middle class again? That's what this election's about. That's why I'm running for president. That's why you're here today to bring about a new agenda for America. And if people ask me how we're going to pay for this, 
if you just remind them that we can spend $10 million, there's not been a lot, we can spend $10 million here in the United States. Sure that you can afford to go to college, no ifs, ands, or buts. We're 